Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. If you're looking for some new photography ideas and you like soap bubble photography, this is the right place to be. I've developed something completely new, so I'm not going to tell you how to take those images. If you're looking for more information how to take those images, just have a look on my YouTube channel where I got plenty of tutorials showing you how to set up everything correctly, how to bring the soap bubble into a stable position and at the end get those nice psychedelic look. But today we're gonna develop something completely new and everything you need for the images we're gonna take today is actually just glycerin and yeah that's basically it. You just need glycerin. This is pretty cheap. One liter costs about yeah, five to 10 euros, so nothing special, but this works pretty great. And here is what we're gonna do now. Well, pure glycerin doesn't really work, so we have to add a couple droplets of water. And therefore, I'm using this dropper here. So I have way too many of them, so maybe I should give some away. The secret to get this nice horizon look is actually that we need a small and a big soap bubble. So let's get rid of that third bubble, which is just disturbing the image. Before we're going to take the horizon shot, let's add some turbulences by using a straw. What do you think will we get? The great thing of using a very small soap bubble, which only consists of glycerin, is that it does not pop. You can shift it around, you can rotate it, you have plenty of time setting up your camera. This soap bubble actually lasts for about one day until it pops, so you have really plenty of time. For the final composition, we just now have to rotate everything, as you've just seen in the video, so that the big soap bubble is behind the small soap bubble, and then it's time to get creative. Now I got two quick tips for you. When the magnification of your lens is not high enough to get this effect, I'd recommend to put some cheap extension tubes between your lens and your camera. Or you can mount the Raynox 250 to the top of your lens to be able to focus much closer. I'd also recommend to close the aperture to get a larger field of depth. This might lead to noise issues. Then I'd recommend to put a softbox on four glasses so that the soap bubble is very, very close to the softbox almost touching the softbox. I think the title of this video was something like photography ideas, so I think it is time to take a closer look at the settings when you actually plan to take real images. As you probably noticed, I have closed the aperture a lot. And the reason is because I wanted to have a large field of depth. If I would open up the aperture, the field of depth would be so small that actually nothing would be in the focus. When I shoot video, this is actually no big deal. I can use a shutter speed of 1 25th of a second or a 50th of a second. So the ISO will be pretty low and there's no noise at all. But when we take images, things look a little bit different because yeah, when the motion is pretty fast, we need a shutter speed of at least a hundredth of a second to freeze motion. So I'd recommend to wait until the movement stopped a little bit and then use very, very long exposure times to get the image without motion blur and without a high ISO. Do you have any question? If yes, feel free to leave a comment below. I'm gonna support you with your next photography project. Maybe you wanna know what kind of t-shirt I'm wearing today. Actually, the new merch has arrived and I'm gonna put some information for you 
right here into the info box. Thanks for watching, likes appreciated, have a good day and hopefully see you next week in the next video.